The following is presented by the Computer History Archives Project. Xerox Corporation. 1969-1975, the large-scale Sigma computers. A bit of background on the Sigma 9. In 1969, Xerox Corporation had purchased the successful pioneering computer company, Scientific Data Systems, or SDS. SDS was renamed Xerox Data Systems, and operated as a division of Xerox. Soon afterwards, Xerox founded a research and development center known as Xerox Park, for Palo Alto Research Center. Xerox Park was the site of groundbreaking advancements in early microcomputing, graphical user interfaces, object-oriented programming, Ethernet networking and other technologies. From 1966 to 1975, the Sigma computer line offered seven models. The XDS Sigma 6 was announced in May 1970, and the high-speed Sigma 9 was announced five months later. The Sigma 7, had been announced in May 1966, before SDS was purchased by Xerox. The Sigma 6, 7 and 9 were all 32-bit machines. By 1972, there were well over 100 Sigma installations in various environments including universities, government, healthcare, aerospace and scientific institutions. The IBM System 360 was a competitor to the Sigma 7, while the competitors to the Sigma 6 and 9 systems included the IBM 370, the Univac 1106, and the DEC PDP-10. In 1971, the Sigma 9, sold for about $176 million, and rented for $41,000 per month on a one-year contract, which equates to a $13 million price tag in 2023, and a corresponding rental cost of $305,000 per month. The Sigma 9 was known for being very reliable and having a long service life, with some installations running for 10 years. As an historical note, in 1974, Xerox introduced the Xerox 550 and Xerox 560 systems. The 550 was intended as an upgrade for the Sigma 5 while the 560 was targeted at the Sigma 6, Sigma 7, and Sigma 9 upgrade market. However, by 1975, due to increasing market competition, Xerox Corporation decided to exit the large-scale computer business, and sold its XDS assets to Honeywell Information Systems. Honeywell provided support for the Sigma systems, but eventually exited the large-scale computer business itself by 1991. Xerox Corporation spun off Xerox Park into a separate but wholly owned subsidiary in 2002. In April 2023, Xerox announced that Park assets were being donated to SRI International so that Xerox could focus on its other IT service offerings. The following is an excerpt from a Xerox Corporation promotional film. It shows part of a large-scale Xerox Sigma computer installation, at the San Antonio Gas and Electric Operations Center, in the 1970s. This $500 million facility supported the city of San Antonio, Texas, the second-largest city in the state, with a population of over 850,000. Dual Xerox machines provided one of the most advanced online computer installations in the U.S. at that time. This is the Gas and Electric Operation Center of the San Antonio City Public Service. It is one of the most advanced automated energy management systems in the United States. Its dual Xerox computers control every switch and valve of $500 million worth of facilities providing gas and electricity to the city. The uninterrupted flow of this energy depends on the uninterrupted operation of the computer. San Antonio's lifeblood is its supply of energy, the constant surge of electricity, the constant flow of gas. Interrupt it, and human activity falters. This specially constructed disaster-proof building houses San Antonio's Gas and Electric Operations Center. Within it, Xerox systems direct one of the most advanced online computer-controlled utility systems in the nation. It is at this moment being emulated by 19 other utilities. Within it also, energy management specialists control the computers from three stations equipped with multiple visual display screens. During normal conditions, the screens may be dark, the operator working at his desk. Meantime, the computer is scanning all network control points every 10 seconds. This means 1.5 million scans a day. At one slightest malfunction, the screens come to life. 
an alarm at station M3. We have a circuit tripped open. The flashing round symbol shows a tripped circuit. I will close the circuit. I select the point and it comes up in the register and send a closed signal. Now the circuit has closed and I will check to make sure that it has closed. I am calling for the computer to plot for me the load on the particular circuit we just had trouble on. And it shows that I have trouble on two phases. And through the computer this tells me that I do have trouble and that I have time to send people to the field and to look for trouble on A and C phase. Every switch, every regulator, every valve of the gas and electric distribution systems located in 80 substations in all are thus operated. The reliability of the computer to assure the reliability of a city's energy. Xerox is proud to play an ever-expanding role in providing vital systems.